Hey everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost. Oh my gosh, this is so much fun. I want to bring you along for the ride. I started making these and I had no idea how much fun they would be to make and they're so easy and they use up some very basic supplies and I thought I would just flip the camera on and bring you along. So what did I do? I took some playing cards. Where are you? Yep, I had them over here. Got so excited, everything went all over the place. Hang on a second. Okay. There we go. Just regular old playing cards. These are great to use with decks that are missing cards. So if you have any of those hanging around, um, you can make some really cute uh, little journal cards or little ephemera cards. This is some scraps that I took from um, just some remnants I had around. The paper was very fragile. So uh, backing it onto a playing card actually made a, a lot of sense because it gave it structure. Also the same thing with this book page. It was a very fragile page, but backed onto a playing card, it has new life. And aren't they just adorable? And I made another one here. I'll show you this one. Actually, I should zoom in this way. Sorry. Um, and I put a little stickles on this one. Yes, it's still drying, but this is a napkin on this side and on this side is a book page apparently i put that upside down yeah that happens sometimes here a little reckless abandon going on today and uh, i just kept them very flat and thin and cute and i thought they would be just adorable extras to put into little pockets here's a couple more that i made I just goofing around here's some edith i think that's edith holden um the picture and i put some liquid pearl accent drops on it you can see back onto the book page decorated that side and on this side <clears throat> I um, had this handmade paper it's writing paper it's handmade paper it's very thin and I thought that would be kind of cool if I just put that on here and then you could still see the image of the card through but it would give you a writable surface if you wanted to write a note or something like that but then I thought not everybody has handmade paper you know hanging around so what else could we try that with so here we go Here's another example. This is part of a napkin and uh, I just put some, these are like little paint drops. Well, I have to find that. Oh, here it is. Yeah. Lumiere. I don't know, something else I bought at one crazy time. Halo Violet Gold. It's a um, metallic acrylic. Yeah, there you go. So it's got some metallic sparkle in it. And sorry if the lighting's not too good. My ring light pooped out and I should be getting another one in a couple days. Um, I got it on order, but this is this is as good as it gets right now. Um, so I hope it's okay. But any, as you can see, let me compare it to the other one for you. I used a different technique on the back of this. Gives you almost identical look. And this one I'm pretty sure most people can access. Okay, so let's try. All right, very fun, very fun. Very zen, awesome way to use up scraps, use up playing cards. And uh, usually you can get these for about a buck in your thrift stores, um, or you can definitely get them for a buck at the Dollar Tree. So, uh, you know, don't spend too much on your substrate, your, um, your underlayment. Okay, so basically this is the technique. I, I use a magazine or something that I can tear pages away so it's easy to use and glue on things. And I use my Scotch Create glue stick. Okay, can you see that? Yeah, okay. And I glue the back. Um, you could glue either side, doesn't matter. But the most important thing is make sure you get your edges, your little corners, so you don't get any peely uppies, very important. And there you go. So let's uh, use some more of the book page. Let's just show you how I did that. It was not really rocket science yet again here. Yet again, lacking in the rocket science department. Yeah, came up with lucky charms on that one. I don't know why. Okay, um, okay, so now once I've glued on there, the thing about using a magazine is if you take that away, you don't have to worry about gluing up your other papers as you're working with them. Because, you know, you really want to keep your, your area pristine like I have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, no, I can hear you. Stop laughing. Okay, here we go. Glue it down. Very easy to do, right? So you can just pop out a bunch of these, but we'll do them one at a time because we're, we're all together here. And now we're going to out, pull out our old friend sanding block. Yes. And somebody had a question about sanding block. This particular sanding block is very old. I got it probably at Home Depot a while ago, but each side has a different grit. I don't know what the numbers are. There's no numbers on it at this point, but I would call this, well, let me show you with the zoomeroo. This is the rough side and this is the smoother side. And I'm not quite sure what the edges are, but they're kind of, this one's rougher. That one's a little smoother. So 
I don't know. But uh, what I can tell you is that um, they all seem to work and that's pretty much it. So what I do, oh, look at that. What's that from? I have no idea. Oh, yes, I do. I smudged it. Look at that. Look at that. I already, I, I smudged it. Yeah. Huh. My liquid pearls. All right. Don't, don't remember to put your stuff aside so it dries. Okay. So now I have some beautiful artwork on the back here and it's going to live there now. Yeah. So I take this and I, the direction, well, you can't see anything. Hang on. There you go. Okay. The direction is, it's going to be this way and down. So it's going to be this way and down a little bit. It's kind of on an angle. See how, how quickly it cuts through, especially with these fragile papers. It goes right through like butter, like butter. So you get there and it just saves time cutting with the scissors. You can use emery boards. You can use other things. You can scissor cut this. You know, who wants to do that? Not me, not this girl. Okay. All right. Glue down, glue down. All right. Um, so, and yeah, and honestly, I don't really pay attention to, am I working with the soft or the hard or grit, you know, or the milder grit? I don't know what you call it. The lighter, the lower number. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like the smaller grit and the bigger grit. And uh, see, so we're done. And it's, it's really nice and flush and soft. And, and let me show you closer. It's nice. It's flush and soft around the edges. Clean cut. Very easy. Very quick. Very quick. And uh, it has a nice feel to it. You can even do a little of this downy stuff in this downward motion. It's like, like that. Okay. Okay. And that takes away any little rough edges. We're right at the little butt of the edge and it just, it feels great. And then maybe you want to come in here and do a little inking. Maybe you don't, you don't have to make any decisions at this point. You could just make a bunch of these ahead of time and, uh, ink later, ink now or not ink at all. Yeah. And uh, so I have that already. And look at that beautiful design I have on there. Such a mysterious thing, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. And I've got my regular king on this side. Now king is shiny. If you don't want shiny king, there's a couple of things you could do. Um, but let me show you the paper technique. Okay. So the first one was I was taking the, let me zoom out, taking the handmade paper that I bought probably on AliExpress.com a year ago, um, just some handmade paper. And I basically did the same thing. I took this I took my glue stick and I glued it again. And I thought, well, if I could do it on one side, why couldn't I do it on the other side? Be bold, be bold, Pam. Just do it, do it. Go, don't go home. Just, just be bold. Yeah. <laughs> You're already home, silly Sally Sue. Okay. All right, here we go. And we're putting it down. And then we mush. Very effective with hand tool here. Yes. Pick that up. Just kind of fold it over the edges a little bit. Not really necessary because the, the paper, the sanding block, our old friend will handle most of the work. This paper is a little thicker, so I'll give it a few more little rubs, but as you can see, it comes right off. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. And I'm off. And one, two, three, four, five. And I'm off. I got a little hairball there, but I will deal with that at the end. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So take the little corners off. Now, if I want to sand the corners a little more to get them all fuzz free, I can go around and do that. It seems to be pretty easy to do. Just get any, remove, remove any little random fuzz balls. And, uh, now you have a little writing surface and this handmade paper feels like, feels like velvet. It's like, like a pelt almost. It's really cool. So, uh, yeah, you can totally do that. And then you've got a nice little writing surface. And you might want to come around here and ink, or you might not. But that's totally up to you because you are the artiste of your world and you can take it or leave it. That's right. No rules here in the world of junk journal world. So these can be tucked into pockets or, um, you know, anything you like. Um, and into tucks, clipped onto pages. Uh, let's say we want to put a little something on here. Maybe we want to jazz it up a little bit. I'm going over into my... My great, okay, what do I have? I'm, I'm going into my scrap drawer. What do I got? That's kind of cute, right? Kind of cute little guy right there. All right, let's, hmm. Yeah, kind of like that. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do the tear technique. And I'm tearing. And nothing fancy here, just tearing. I guess we're gonna have to so sacrifice somebody there. It's gonna have to go, yeah. All right, we got that. 
That's kind of cute. Actually, I can make a I could even make a little pocket. Is that the cutest little pocket ever? It is. Come on, work with me. It is the cutest little pocket ever. <laughs> I declare it so until the next little pocket comes along. I know, I know. All right, so let me just ink this up. It's a random tear. And we'll glue this down. Maybe this time we're going to use some... We're going to use some art glitter glue with a special black top here that fits the little metal pointer. Make sure you get the black top that fits the metal pointer. I've only seen these on the two ounce and the four ounce bottles, um, but this cap can be moved to one of the eight ounce bottles. And I think the eight ounce bottle is like a refill bottle. So they're thinking you're probably going to want to use the smaller bottle on a daily basis when you might just refill from the bigger bottle. But I've used the bigger bottle lots myself, so I can't get anything out of there. It's stuck. That's why you want the little, you need a little pin. And uh, so, and you might need to clear it every once in a while because it's a very tiny hole and it only gives out a little bit of glue at a time, but it really saves you on glue. This bottle will last you forever because only a little tiny thin drip comes out. All right. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah. And uh, there we go. And we're down. And we're down. Okay, so we have that. And I did have a, oh, let me see if I can still find that. Oh, there it is. Yes. Yes. Uh, maybe we want to just put a little, a little, uh, tag. I got a tiny tag. See a little tiny tag? I found that the other day. We made a bunch of those the other day. Or uh, the other, I don't know, month. And, uh, a perfect little place to put a tiny tag. And you can write on the back of this. Isn't that cute, right? So cute. I mean, it's just cute. All right, let's jazz it up a little bit with the liquid pearl stuff because we got a ton of it here. Oh, this would be pretty color. Yeah, let's go with the stickles. Now, stickles take a little longer to dry than liquid pearls, but if I'm a good little crafter, I will put it all aside and everything will dry on its own because I will not touch it until it's dry. Yes, so I tell myself. Mm-hmm. And put some on the little feather there. Okay, there we go. All right, uh, this was, you want to know what it was? It was a Stickles and it was uh, the magical color of, yeah, no, oh, there it is, rose gold, rose gold Stickles. Yep, again, sorry for the lighting on this. Uh, okay, so I'm going to put these, oh yeah, there goes everything. Um, let me put you over here, okay. Everybody in the clear deck where nobody's going to get touched until we are dry totally dry. Now I'm going to show you how to do the basically the same technique, but if you don't have any of the fancy uh, handmade paper, another little backup will do. And uh, let's get ourselves a fresh sheet because I'm feeling like I'm abundant in the magazine world so I can spare that and I can throw things out like a big girl. Yes, I can. I don't have to save every scrap. No, I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> I shall tell myself that every once in a while. I do not have to save every little piece of lint. Um, it is okay to throw things out occasionally. Okay, here we go. Okay, uh, all right. Oh, I found another tiny tag down there. Look at that, I did. Oh, how cool. Oh, we should make some more tiny tags. Those were fun. And uh, yeah, I'm like really in the creative mode today. Okay, I could just make stuff all day. Okay, so another card. You are on the deck. We are making stuff with you. I should probably get another light or something. It seems dark in here. Oh, oh well, we, this is what we got. Um, okay. All right, so putting the glue on, this is the glue stick, and I'm sure any glue stick would work. Um, any white glue would probably work. You just want to take your finger and make sure that you have all your edges covered. That would be number one. Okay, so let's do the back first. Now we can put anything on here. Like, for example, I have this, uh, just a piece of scrapbook paper. Something came in a like, rectangle size, so I'm just going to put that on there. Boop, there we go. All right, finger tools. A lot of the stuff to use up, so it's okay. I'm gonna fold a little bit. This paper is like not super thick, not super thin, somewhere in the middle. Very technical terms. Ready? Okay. Yeah, we're pretty good. Okay. Okay, I get through almost. It must be on the soft side. Yep. I guess a little faster if you use the rough side. Yeah, yeah, we're through. Okay. And it seems so quiet in the house. Where are you, birds? How come you're not making noises? I've got the doors open and everything. 
They must be sleeping. Sleeping or eating. That's their thing when you don't hear them. Sleeping or eating. They're kind of like puppies. They take their little naps too. I have an African Grey and two lovebirds. African Grey's name is Holly and lovebirds are Happy and Leonardo. Yeah. All right. There we go. Uh -huh. All right. So let's just check our edges. I think we need a little, yep, edge rounding. Yep. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like I said, you can use an emery board. That would work too. Or you could like, you know, go with a craft knife or something like that. But ugh. <laughs> did, I, did I say that on camera? Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> Take too much precision stuff there. Okay. So uh, now we have this shiny surface. Okay. And maybe you, maybe you don't want that. Maybe you want to um, uh, have a writing surface that would receive pen or pencil or marker or uh, paint or something like that a little better and uh, so what my my I, little brain came up with was I have a bunch of these these are basically bar napkins um, drink napkins you know and you can get these at a lot of restaurants or you can buy a pack of these on eBay or Amazon or somewhere um, or you know any go to any fast food place that they might have white napkins they might even have a uh, craft colored napkins and I think that would work too and I'm pretty sure these are single ply because I don't think I can get these apart but what I did I basically did the same thing. I, um, let me zoom in a little so you can see better. I, um, in I inked, I uh, glued with the crafts, uh, the glue stick, got my corners really good. And then I just laid this down. And one of these will easily do four cards. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna do this flat. Okay. Now that I have glue on here, I'm gonna remove that so I don't get my surface all dirty. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to come along here and, yeah, that's what I'm doing. And the tissue paper goes pretty fast. I'm sure you could probably even use tissue paper or um, even toilet paper. Honestly, I think you could. Because uh, this is very thin napkin, which is pretty much the thickness of both of those items. So I would say, you know, everybody's either got tissue paper, toilet paper, or some kind of white napkin that maybe you could use that would work. And uh, so now I'm just going to go check my edges, make sure everybody's glued down nicely. Yeah, rounded on the edges. Doop, doop. The, the tissue paper definitely um, just works with you much easily, much easier. Yeah, okay, so I'll go close. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. So, and it's got a papery feel, which will accept pen. Um, obviously, this is a little busy, so maybe um, you might want to use a card that maybe like an ace or something that has more white space behind it. This must be a pinochle deck or something. Um, that might give you more writing space. Although, where's that one that I did? This one is a jack and this is the handmade paper and it's a little more opaque. Okay, just FYI. Um, but it still gives you a writing space. Yes. There we go. So now we have that. Yeah, and that could be tucked into a pocket or a tuck or, you know, whatnot, whatnot. And we could like stick something on there. What is this? Do you want to go on there? Maybe not enough contrast. Not enough contrast. We want more contrast. Go dig in your scrap pile, Missy, and pull out some contrast. Have I got the contrast for you? I do. Oh, let me show you how to put the napkin on. Oh, I, I did that already, I guess. No, let me do that on the next one. Um... Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. What are you? Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Okay, well, I've got something here. It's like a, oh, that might be pretty on there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, here we go. It might be a little big. Just shrink it down a bit. Oh, that's kind of pretty too. I'm going to put that along the side. That would be nice. Let's do that. All right, so I'm going to fussy cut here a little bit. Okay. Mm, da, da, da. I'm the world's worst fussy cutter, but anybody can do it if I can do it. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's helpful with these little tiny snip scissors, as I understand they are called. Um, oh, having an idea. Uh -uh. Coming around here, 
cutting the last rose out. Not very good at this. Uh, okay. There. Now this is a that was a thicker card set. Oh, I guess that's too big. I'm gonna cut some of that other rose off. We didn't need it anyway. There we go. Ah, okay. Are we on? Are we on? We're on. We're in. Ah, we're good. Yay. Okay. So maybe I'm thinking I want to use black on this one. Where are we talking about? Where? Where? We're twenty. Okay. Yeah, we're good. Okay. And where's my little black dauber? Or, oh, there you are. It's one of these. Let me back out. Do, okay, so I'm going to ink with black this time. Why? Why? I don't know. There's some black in this design, and I thought it might look cute if I sharpen this up a little bit in some black black hue. So we're going to black hue. Hue it up. And it'll pop a little bit better against the background. I think they'll look cute. And we can toss some sparklies on it if we want. We can do all sorts of things because we got we got stuff to play with when we start going through our scrap pile. Oh, well, that's kind of cute, huh? I like that. Okay. I could use that even as a little side tuck. Why don't we do that? Why don't we just be bold and make a side tuck? Ugh, oh, yeah. Sounds great. Make it a side tuck. Do, do, do. Using the art glitter glue, which needs to be freed. Yep, there we go. Be free. Be free, our glitter glue. Because you are a very good glue. Not sponsored. No, just like the glue. Um, yeah, you'll find you'll go through, you know, if you really get into paper crafting and that, you'll start to play with different kinds of glues and uh, try different kinds. Everybody likes different things about different glues. So don't just use the glue because I use the glue. Use the glue because you like the glue. And, uh, you know, when you get the opportunity to try a new glue, try it because you might find something that just really blows your socks off. And that's basically what happened to me. My socks were blown off when I tried a couple glues and I'm like, oh, I love these glues. Where have you been all my life? And um, then my world changed. Um, hmm, let's see. Another tiny tag. Oh, that's cute, isn't it? Yeah, but maybe the wrong. We need maybe something a little more solid. Okay, I was going to dig here for a second. Hang on. All right, I found something, and this makes no sense, but I have a little piece of this fabric uh, paper that we made the other day. Basically, um, I glued some very uh, sheer fabric onto some craft book paper and just made a little uh, pseudo notebook. And let's just notebook it up a little bit more. Yeah. And I'm going to tuck it in there. Now it's going to have a little home. That's right. That's right. It's going to look all cutie boo. All right. What do we got? How about something small? What are you? Oh, you're a bumblebee or something. A fly. Okay. There we go, Mr. Fly. You want to be on here? Okay. There you are. Mr. Fly is going to be there. Why do I always sound like I'm teaching romper room or something like that? No. Okay. You're talking to adults. <laughs> okay. Got it, got it, back check, cross check. Okay, we have that, let me zoom in so you can see. And there we go, I'm just gonna tuck that little guy in there. So he's gonna live there. All right, so that's just, that's just fine and dandy. So we have writing surface, we have decorative surface with a little side tuck, with a little notebook in there. You could put anything you like in there, a little picture or something like that, that would look cute too. Okay, so let's put some sparklies or something on your little face and make you look cute bring out the luster in you let's see i'm digging i'm digging okay maybe these all right we'll try this one okay this is stickles in crystal color that's the color okay all right let's put some let's stickle it up here all right people we're stickling are we stickling yeah we're stickling okay everybody wants the the clear the deck with the pin maneuver. I can do that. I can do that. Okay. Here we go. All right. All right. Just some random little dots on here to accent the little flowers. Yeah. Not hard to do. Just do, do a little bit of it. Yep. And we're going to let that dry. Let me give you a better look at that so you can see. Okay. I just a little splash on there, nothing too fancy, but uh, okay, we got that one. And um, whoop, whoop. okay, let's make another. What time is it? Yeah, we got time to make another. Okay, put this down. Okay, and get a card. Card check. Got it right. 
All right, let's take an ace this time so you can see what it looks like without too much writing on there. Okay, so the back, the back, this time on the back. Uh, what can I do? I could do, um, let me look for something. How about this? Yeah, I'm just sitting here. I've got some old dictionary paper and dictionary paper, paper is awesome for this type of thing. Yeah, okay. So let us glue her up, glue in her up with the old Scotch Create glue stick. Glue, 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 glue. Getting the corners, don't forget to get corners and all around the edges, make sure you get the edges. Very important, very important. And uh, all right, let's put you down. Here, that's where you're going to live. Yes, you are. Okay. Yep. All right. Now we get rid of this because it's got glue on it. Ta-da! Throwing another page away. Back it up so you can see. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Can you see? Am I too close? Maybe I'm too close, huh? There we go. Okay. All right. You know, it's funny. I put my uh, uh, glasses on so I can see what I'm doing um, on my craft table. But when I look at my camera, which is up here, my phone, my eyes are too close to the camera so or my phone. So I cannot fully see clearly what you guys are seeing. I can see basic shapes and stuff, but it's kind of fuzzy for me because I'm just, you know, yep, eyes are getting older. <laughs> That's all there is to it. Okay. And uh, let's just give her the, the roundies. Now you want, probably want to see this. Yeah, just getting the, just rounding the edges a little bit because sometimes they come out a little square when you do the, the initial cut. There you go. Oh, okay. Okay, and then you go check. See this little area there that, there we go. Okay, yeah, and yeah, we're good. Very good. Okay. Um, Let's go around with this because we're here and we can. Um, but this time on this side, I'm going to put, we recognize this little creature. He was over there and I've got some flowers. Flowers would be really pretty and you'll still be able to see the ace through. All right. I'm trying to stay on screen here. Come on, stay on screen. Silly goose. All right, here we go. And doing the edges well. Very important. Okay. Let's pick a pretty spot on this napkin. Now I'm down to the thinness of the napkin, so I've removed the other layers. Um, so make sure you go to a one ply. And down, okay, okay. Try and get it as flat as you can. If you can't get it flat and there's a wrinkle, it's okay, don't worry about it, it'll be all right, yeah. Okay, so lift up, get rid of this page because it's got glue on it. Okay, back up a little bit so everybody can see. And then we're gonna do the same thing. I'm going to sand around and whoop, what are you? Okay. Okay. There we go. And we're hopping. Don't know where we're stopping. Okay. And the, and the tissue is actually pretty easy to remove. So again, you could use napkin, you could use um, toilet paper, or you could use, um, what was the other thing? Oh, that handmade paper. Yeah. So anything tissue like, um, you could also use wrapping paper. I think that would be really pretty. Uh, I, I should really demonstrate more things with wrapping paper because of the thinness of it. It actually is perfect for journal making because you can color things, colorize things with it, but not add much bulk at all. Okay. So let me put here. Boom. There. Okay. So you can still see the ACE kind of cool. Still see the ACE little heart there in the center, but we have, a cool design on this side. Isn't that fun? These are so much fun. These are like totally fun, fun. And uh, so now we have this pretty little card and we have this on this side. So there's no official writing surface, but this could just be a decorative card. I mean, not everything has to be a writing surface. There are no rules. Remember that there are no rules. So if, if somebody says, Hey, you wrote a, you made a journal card, but there's nowhere to journal on it. You just tell them, Hey, there's no rules. So technically you're going by the rules because there's no rules. <laughs> yeah. um, so that, that's what you tell them. Mm -hmm. Yep. And they don't like it. You tell them, come talk to me. I'll straighten them out <laughs> um, because the whole idea 
is just to have fun and uh, don't get stuck on the right or wrong way to do anything. This is paper, people. We're gluing paper and cutting paper and that's all we're doing. So that means if you want to run hog wild, you just do it and you don't have to answer to anybody. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's the 11th hour story on that. Okay, okay. We have had gobs of fun or I have had gobs of fun playing with you guys today and just making these fun little things out of cards. So let me show you what we made today. Let me back it up just a wee bit so we can get them all in here. We made this guy. He had the little, he was a side tuck. We made this guy who's a little corner tuck. Okay. And he's got writing space and writing space. And um, here's another one of these napkins from the same napkin. You can get a lot of mileage out of one napkin, boy. Yeah, you know, hit up your friends and family for napkins, especially those people who like to have parties. Yeah, they always have leftover napkins from the Hawaiian party or the this party or the that party. Nail those people. Get their napkins because uh, they're going to be one look. They're going to be looking for new napkins next time around. So you can use book pages. You can use napkins. You can use scrapbook paper. All sorts of fun stuff. So let's zoom in here a little bit. Okay, that's pretty good. All right. So if you had fun here, please like, subscribe, and share and click the notification bell if you're looking for any there's the birds they woke up right on time okay let's let's hear it from you guys um okay and um if you're looking for any vintage digital kits i have an etsy shop i have about 50 different ones you can take a check through see if you see anything you like these are downloadable um computer files that you uh download to your computer and then you print the images out on your printer at home and um, if you're looking for any tools or supplies that I use, I try and put everything that I use in my Amazon store if you're looking for it. But obviously, I want you to get the best deal you can for you. So look around your local town, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Walmart. Um, but if you can't find it or you're looking for a, you know details on the item, ch check out my store because um, you can probably find that stuff there. And... Uh, Hotels. The newsletter, mo monthly emailed newsletter. If you're interested in getting a junk journal tip along with a free digital image, plus the checklist of supplies for journal makers and a note from the bookmaker. That's all in there. Just uh, the links are down below my videos. My videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays at 7 a.m. Eastern time. My podcasts come out Tuesdays and Thursdays, which are audio and free and they're new material, uh, all related to the joy of junk journal making. And um, you can find me on Instagram, Pinterest, Etsy, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, and come join our Facebook group. We're having a lot of fun doing weekly and monthly challenges over there, and you're welcome to lurk or just ask questions or show us what you're making related to your journals. And remember that fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon, everybody. Go have some fun. I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.